Hello and howdy everybody, Rootbeard here with more of the 2002 Kaylee paper. We're on question number three. Okay, so what does question three have to say? If x is equal to negative three, the numerical value of x squared minus four times x minus five is... All right, well, similar to the last question, this is just going to be some order of operation stuff. But first, we're going to make the substitution. Everywhere we see an x, we're going to put a negative 3. x squared minus 4, x minus 5. Everywhere I see an x, I'm going to put a minus 3. I'm putting this minus 3 in brackets, so I remember it's minus 3 squared. Because there's a difference between this and this. <clears throat> one over here is negative 9, and this one here is 9. So there is a difference. We should be mindful of that, otherwise we will likely get the wrong answer. Although if we're lucky, the wrong answer that we get will not be one of our multiple choice answers, and we'll realize something went wrong. So we've substituted in x equals negative 3, and now it's time to take a look at uh, our order of operations. So we do brackets first. Well, these brackets here... We could try and do something with them, but minus 3 is already as simple as it's going to get. So really, we should look at this bracket here. Minus 3 minus 5, that's going to be minus 8. So everything else stays where it is. And now uh, I'm done with my brackets. There are no more expressions inside of brackets to be simplified. Minus 3 and minus 8 are as simple as we're going to get. So we move on down the list. After brackets, we do powers, so exponents. And I only have one of those. Negative 3 squared is 9. I already mentioned that. And we keep everything exactly where it was. So now what do we have? Well, we have no more exponents. Now it's time for multiplication and division. Here's a multiplication. It's the only one. So 4 times negative 8, that's negative 32. And we're left with one expression, 9 minus negative 32. We could rearrange that and say the negatives... We'll cancel out, and it just becomes 9 plus 32. And 9 plus 32 is an answer of 41. So let's see, is 41 one of our possible answers? There it is, it's answer D. Okay, so we'll flip the page and we'll get ready for question number four, which we'll take care of in the very next video. So stay tuned.